Today we're going to be sharing some winter camping hacks. You'll want to stick around. When you go winter camping, your objective is going to be to be comfortable, not too hot or not too cold. When you get too cold, of course, you're going to shiver and that's going to expend some energy. But if you get too hot, then you're going to sweat and later as you cool down, your body acting like a radiator will expend more heat and then you'll get cold. And so you'll go through this cycle. So what you want to do is use layers so that you can take off layers if you're getting too hot and you can put more layers on if you're getting too cold. And if you really pay attention to your body temperature and move a little slowly, a little more slowly than you might in any other situation, you're going to find that you're more comfortable. Like you, I like to be comfortable when I'm winter camping. But one of the things that I don't take along is my cot. Just think about it, when you're setting your cot up, now you've got air underneath your body and on top of your body, and what's going to happen? That's going to chill you down. And so we'll want to make sure that we're fully insulated. Here are a couple of options for you. One is just a thicker foam pad. This is actually one of my favorite pads. It's small, it takes 20 breaths to blow it up. And I just enjoy sleeping on the floor of the tent with it because it really does provide enough cushion and it provides some insulation that's not a lot of air in between, so it keeps me warm. So knowing that your body is a radiator, and let's say that you're getting ready to go to bed, you want to protect your head because you're gonna lose a lot of heat there. So maybe a beanie would be good. Some people don't like the top of their head covered. Maybe you could get an ear band or even wear that around your neck. So anything that would help to prevent heat loss is going to be good. Here are some gloves that I love. You'll see that they have a zipper in them that you can slide a hand warmer into and that will keep your hands nice and warm also. Remember that we talked about your body being a radiator and your wrists are areas that you lose a lot of heat. So these are a couple of little wristbands that you can put some hand warmers in and they'll uh, keep you from losing a lot of heat and make you more comfortable. Remember to wear your beanie or your cap a lot of people like to put on a pair of sweats, but probably the number one great hack that I want to share with you is before you get into your sleeping bag, change all of your clothes. And I mean all of your clothes. You've got a little bit of moisture and sweat that's still on your body. And if you put on some dry clothes from home and get into your sleeping bag, that's going to make a huge amount of difference. So try that next time that you're out. When purchasing a tent for winter camping, you want a four season tent, not a three season tent. A four season tent tends to have a little bit less mesh on the inside and it'll have a rain fly that will go all the way to the bottom. That will help preserve your heat. For smaller tents, your body temperature will probably raise the temperature inside the tent a couple of degrees. But really it's your sleeping bag's job to keep you warm. Remember that your ground cloth is important. It will prevent moisture from coming up through the tent and will add another layer of insulation for you. And lastly, I want to talk a little bit about sleeping bags. For me, I've got to have a sleeping bag that I can kick my feet around in. Some people are very comfortable in a mummy bag and that's great. So what I need to do is I'll put a little fleece blanket in the bottom of my bag and that helps keep my feet warm. Also remember that you want to buy a bag that is rated for the lowest temperature that you're going to experience and then Maybe take another fleece blanket with you, just for insurance. Another great hack that we want to share with you is using hand warmers in your sleeping bag. I like to go in a little bit before I go to bed and throw some hand warmers into the foot box and around the torso area of my sleeping bag. They have some great electronic hand warmers, but never use a hand warmer that's got a flame. We have a friend from Norway that says, there is no bad weather, only bad clothing. And that's really true. When you want to stay warm and comfortable, you want to dress in layers. And so here we've got some base layers that you might start with a thermal underwear, uh, go to a 
long sleeve shirt, something on top of that. You can add a vest. And then on top of that, if you're still chilly, you can put on a heavy coat. I want to give you some thoughts about some of the snow boots and shoes that I have that I really enjoy. The first pair right here are those that I wear when it's really cold, really snowy, and there's chances of snow getting into, my, uh, into the tops of my shoes. And so they have some laces that will pull and tighten up around my snow pants. This next pair is breathable, yet waterproof. It's for a little bit of a colder day and will keep me comfortable. The third pair that I have is a day that it might be cold, but uh, is still wet and they are waterproof also. They're a little more white, lightweight and easy to wear for long periods of time. And then finally, why in the world would I have a pair of slippers? Well, my winter hack for slippers is I'd like to keep them in my tent. And when it's ready to go into the tent, go to bed, I take my snowshoes and snow boots off at the door. I'll put my slippers on so I'm not tracking snow and mud and water into the tent. Keeps my tent clean, keeps my feet warm also. Now I wanna share a few things that I keep in my supplies depending on what type of camping I'm doing. If I'm backpacking and I want to have a lightweight pair of windbreakers, uh, this is actually a great windbreaker but it's a pair of pants. Let me just show these to you. May not be waterproof for very long, but they will stop the wind and help you to stay warm. Here is a lightweight jacket that also you can just throw into your backpack. And again, a great windbreaker, lightweight and compact. And finally, these are frog togs. This is a complete rain suit. It's not gonna be breathable, but again, you can throw it in your backpack, throw it in the back of your car, and it will keep you absolutely dry in a great uh, fierce rainstorm. The final hack that we want to share with you is before you go to bed, eat a nice warm meal. You're there for enjoyment, have some comfort food, and then crawl in the sack. We hope that these camping hacks have been helpful to you and hope that you'll join us again on OSME TV.